Okay. I would like to call to order the Tuesday, March 8th, 2022, 6 p.m. meeting of the Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation. At this time, I'd like to um, establish a quorum from my left, please. Why we're here. Simpson here. Johannes here. Bond here. Okay, we have a quorum. Let's stand for a moment of silence and the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Okay, Robin, we don't have any citizens' comments. Okay, moving to item number two, discuss, take action to approve the minutes from February 17th, 2022 EDC meeting. Do I have a motion? Make a motion to approve the minutes. Uh, discuss and take action to approve the minutes for the February 27th, that, or for the February 17th, 2022 EDC meeting. Okay, we have a motion for Mr. Wyrick. Do I have a second? Bond second. Second for Mr. Bond. Any discussion? Okay, I'll call the vote from my left, please. Wyrick, yes. Simpson, yes. Johannes, yes. Bond, yes. Okay, motion carries. Item number three, discuss, take action to schedule a budget workshop before our April meeting. Discuss and take action to set up a budget workshop before April meeting. Okay, for Mr. Wyrick, do I have a second? Bond will second. Okay, discussion on when that could be. Robin, um, have you spoken to our um, CPA to see when, if she's available prior to the April meeting? I apologize, I have not. She has stated that she's very busy right now because we're in the middle of tax season. Um, but I can check with her to see if she might have any time and let you know a couple of options by email. Okay. Or we may need to just do it in May. I mean, I know she's going to be busy till after taxes are due mm -hmm. in April. So anybody, how about the board's opinion on that? Maybe we wait for the May meeting? I, I would make a motion, or would, you, would I make a motion to say that we put it off till May? We could try to schedule it for the hour before our regular meeting in May. Okay. Mr. Uh, Wyrick, you got any thoughts on that? If we, because she's in tax season right now, which makes yeah. sense. <laughs> you know? Well, I tell you what, <laughs> I guess so. We've been putting this off since December, <laughs> you know, trying to get her in here. And it, was, it, and it was tax deal ever since we've been talking about all this. And we're paying her money to do our CPA and everything sure. else. And if she can't take time out and set us up an appointment to come down here and sit and do what we need to do, to me, you know, uh, it's, it's not acceptable anymore. We, we have asked her time over time to sit up and come down here and work with us in a workshop. And every time she, it's, it's another excuse that she has taxes. Well, that's not my problem. Her problem is, is to serve us. We're paying her to do stuff. And to come in here and do it, to set it off till May, uh, I'm not really, I'm against it right now, I'll tell you right now, but if that's what the, the board well, wants to do, I'll go along with them, but I'm not for it because we've done, put her off so many times to come down here and sit with us and go over our budget sure. and work with it, so. Okay, well, your um, comments are taken to heart, and Robin, do you want to check and see yeah. what she, you know, if she can come in April, that would be our priority. When Absolutely. is when is tax date? Did they, have they changed April 15th. it? April 15th. April well, 15th. Whatever, yeah, 15th, 15th, 16th, whatever that day is this year. I don't um, know if they've changed it because of COVID. I think last year there was an extension period. Okay. I think it's regular this year. I think it's okay. like April 18th or, um, yeah, depending on what day the 15th fell on. I mean, if she can get us in after the tax... Uh, how long are we going to need? Will it be an hour, two hours? What What are we looking at? Well, I tell you right now, tax tax time. April is deadline, and then they come back every April. They really get busy every April because every April they got deadlines that they have to start getting all this stuff in, 
and they put deadlines on how uh, taxes they had to get in at certain times and all, and they get real busy having to be in there to try to get those all done. So I sort of got a feeling, and I don't know, y'all might take this to heart, but as, as May, I look for it to turn right around and come back again. I'm still tied up on taxes. So. Well, and I think that we just approach her um, with diplomacy, just saying, you know, we're a paying customer and we would like to be on the schedule and we need this sooner than later. Yeah, I mean. Um, and then that way we can put it out there because I understand what you're saying and I don't think anyone disagrees with the fact that we're all, you know, we're paying her to do this. So yes. we're, we're, we're a customer already, a client. So um, I think, Robin, if I heard the board correctly, we would like to see um, if she can get here in April, which would be preferred. Okay. And, um, you know, that we would be a priority and then um, see what that is. And then if it's not in April, then by the May meeting, which mm -hmm. is our normal meeting date. So yes. are you all okay yeah. with those yeah. two times? Like okay. I said, do, will an hour of her time be enough? I think we all, if we... I, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with, with it, so I'm just... just Wondering if we needed an hour, hour and a half. And a half, yeah. Maybe we would say from 4.30 till we, you know, till the board meeting starts at 6. I think that's a good plan. That Absolutely. You, you, you've worked with the, the financials, you and Brandy, so y'all probably have a better understanding of what, what we need. Yeah, and I'm going to put some effort into it beforehand as well, so I can email you my progress before we get to that point. Yeah. Okay, because I'll, I'll, I'll defer to the people who have the knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I okay. think an hour and a half would be better. I agree. Okay. All right. I'll let you know what I can get scheduled for us. Okay. Thanks, Robin. Thank you. I don't think we have to have a vote on that because we're just looking no. at dates. So I think we're good. They okay. should basically let uh, Robin take care of that and set up a time and all for yeah. us and get back to us. Yeah. And then we'll know when it is. Okay. At this time, we need to open the public hearing for the Holland Witten. Um, uh, facade grant in the amount of $6,315 on project R-2022-004. Is there anyone here to talk to us about this? I see none. So we can close the public hearing on that. And then we need to open the public hearing for the ETCOG expenditure um, in the amount not to exceed $3,500 for the East Texas Council of Governments Regional Broadband Local Match Project. Anyone here regarding those two items or regarding that item? Seeing none, we can close the public hearing. Robin, um, do we need to take action on this tonight since we've had the public hearing tonight? So do we need to have a vote on those or just the public hearing was all we needed to do? Just the public hearing. You guys voted on this project at our last meeting, and we will be sending it to City Council next. Okay. Okay. All right. Just making sure we're checking our boxes correctly. Okay. At this time, um, you have in your packet, we wanted to discuss and take action to approve, approve reserving a table for aid at the Chamber Awards Banquet for $280. This event will take place on March 21st, 2022 at the Cedar Creek Country Club. Uh, let's see. Do I have a motion first, and then we'll have some discussion? I make a motion that we discuss, take action to approve reserving a table for eight at the Chamber Awards Banquet for $280. This event will take place on March 21st, 2020 at the Cedar Creek Country Club. Okay, we have a motion to discuss and then take action. Okay, um, by Mr. Bond. Do I have a second? Simpson second. Okay, second by Ms. Simpson. And um, Robin, would you like to give us a little bit more information on this event? Have we, I think... Someone's attended in the past from the EDC, but if you'll kind of give us a little update on what's going to happen that night. Um, I'm not, I've not reached, I have not attended this event in the past. However, um, in past years, the EDC board normally does get a table. We like to support the Chamber of Commerce. They do um, do a lot of things for our businesses to help improve business, keep them in the, in the newspaper, in the public eye. So we really do appreciate our Chamber of Commerce, and um, I would be very happy to support them in this. Okay, if we do this, um, it looks like there's eight seats available for our table, so we would need to make sure we have folks that can attend that, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. So um, anyone on the board that can attend 
Ron, you can, is that just Ron by yourself? Or Ron with the, Ron plus one? <laughs> Will it just be you or do you have someone? Just me. Just you, okay. Brandy, probably know with everything you have going on. Hard to say. Hard to say, okay. Keith? I, I would like to attend, but if I was to bring Laura with me, I, okay. I, would, I, I would rather pay for her. Okay. I know that I won't be able to attend, Robin. I'll be out of town okay. on that date, so I won't be there. And we can reach out to Brian and see mm -hmm. if he can attend, but we have to do, the table's gonna be for eight regardless we have yes. to reserve the whole table right okay all right well we can fill in the spots i'm sure you'll attend and um so we'll go ahead unless anyone else has any other discussion on this we can reserve the, i guess we can vote to reserve the table if everybody's okay with that okay i just well, want to i want to make one, i want to say one thing about this year i <laughs> last time we did this i was sort of against it but this time ever thinking about it more and more since we actually belong to the chamber and all yes. and they we're, we actually participate a lot in their their meetings and other stuff. They're part of a of our I want to say uh, helping us bring people here to gumbarrel and stuff. They support so our effort for sure. They support our efforts and all. So I, I figured for us supporting uh, one table, which gives us a little bit more help out there to meet more people around the area to help us impact. So. It's a, I'm backing in 100%. Okay, all right, sounds good, Mr. Wyrick. Okay, any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll vote for my left. Wyrick, yes. Simpson, yes. Johannes, yes. Bond, yes. Motion carries. Okay, at this time, we're going to adjourn into executive session to discuss deliberations about economic development negotiations as authorized by the Texas Government Code Section 5.1-087, and the time officially that we're adjourning is 612. Doki. Go do that. Go do that. Now. Do we actually have to go since there's no one here? Oh, we could actually stay since there's no one in here. Okay, let me grab that. Yeah, we'll just stay, Ron. No one's in here. Just we'll just turn off the mic. Turn off the microphones. Yeah. Sorry. Good call, Brandy. I mean, we can. Good call. Well, there's nobody going in. What's the cut?
Okay, at this time I'd like to reconvene the March 8th, 2022 meeting of the um, Gun Barrel City Economic Development Corporation and let the time show as 6.35. Okay. Item number 10 is to discuss, take action on items discussed in the executive session. Item A was a loan that is in default. Do I have a motion regarding that loan? I'd like to make a motion to instruct our EDC attorney to prepare a letter of default for, the ED, for an EDC client, allowing them 30 days to cure default. Okay. Robin, do we need a, a number on that or anything? Loan number for identification purposes? It may be on that paperwork at the top. Is that the R yes. 2012-004? Mm. The, the loan repayment schedule listed as R-2019-004. Okay. Okay. So change that to 209. Okay. Got that. 2019-2004. Mr. Bond, if you'll just add that to your motion so we have record of it. Okay, it's probably my eyes. So I'd like to make the correction of R- dash, the loan number R-2019-004. Okay. We have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second for Mr. Wyrick. Um, any discussion? We'll vote from my left. Wyrick, yes. Simpson, yes. Johannes, yes. Bond, yes. Motion carries. Item B, which is P-2022-004, um, a new facade grant request. Do I have a motion or, um, yeah, motion for this? Motion to approve item 10B, P-2022-004. Dash zero zero four, a facade grant request from Gun Barrel City Pharmacy in the amount of three thousand five hundred seventy nine dollars and fifty cents. Okay, we have a motion from Ms. Simpson. Do I have a second? Second. Second for Mr. Wyrick. Any discussion? Hearing none, we can vote for my left. Wyrick yes. Simpson yes. Johannes yes. Bond yes. Motion carries. Item ten C. P-2022-005, a renovation grant request. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve item 10C, P-2022-005, a renovation grant request for Waves and Upscale Lounge with David Westerfield in the amount of $25,000. Okay, I have a motion. Do I have a second? Bond second. Okay, I have a second. Do I have any more discussion? I want to make a discussion. We really don't tell the public very much what when we're talking about this here. I just want to let them, everybody know that uh, there's there's about $150,000 he's putting into this project, and we're just giving out like $25,000 for him to help make the, the, if you've been by that old Lakeside Cafe area, how dingy and bad and all it looks, and he's fixing the go in there and rebuild the inside and outside that, so he's gonna really make the, that area look pretty down in that, you know, on a 198. So I just wanted to let everybody know that out there. We're just not going through here and just uh, passing these things. Uh, we're gonna start giving y'all a little more information on what, why uh, we're actually doing these. Yeah, okay. Good discussion, Mr. Wyrick. And also, we can note that this will also um, this will be a new venture, Waves will be, so it will provide some new jobs as well as um, sales tax to the city. So that is um, certainly something that we're all supportive of. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we can vote for my left. Wyrick, yes. Simpson, yes. Johannes, yes. Bond, yes. Motion carries. This time, I have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Okay, second, we're good to I'll go. I'll second it. Bond seconds. Okay, and it is... 640. Robin, you want to get the 